So on the Hadoop, in the beginning, they offered three main components within the Hadoop platform. The first component is known as HDFS, which is Hadoop Distributed File System, which offers you distributed storage. So, and that is to fulfill the data storage requirement. The system was supposed to fulfill, to store the data like the data warehouses. So they came up with the uh, one component of the Hadoop system to store the data. You ingest data and you store it in the HDFS. Then the second component was YAN, which is cluster operating system. We had a requirement here to make sure that these all small, small systems form a one big single system and they work like a single system that we, we don't want these small, small systems to work like individual systems, right? All together, they should work like a single large systems like these were working. These, this, this is a one single large system, right? So uh, we needed a system or, or a software or a technology, which allows us to make sure that all these small, small uh, machines join together into a form. Uh, into a group and the entire group work like a single system so for that they had this component called yarn yarn is uh, a cluster operating system you can think of it like a cluster resource manager or cluster operating system which allows these group of systems to work like a single large system and then third thing that they uh, had brought was uh, known as MapReduce, which is a programming framework which is a distributed uh, computing or distributed uh, data processing framework and that is to help you uh, do the data processing. The data warehouses were offering SQL language and scripting language and programming language interface to supplement all these three. Hadoop initially offered uh, uh, MapReduce, which was being done in Java programming language. But over a period of time, very soon, maybe in a couple of years, uh, Hadoop also started offering three additional components to supplement these three requirements. Right? One is known as Hive, which is a SQL engine, or we can call a data warehouse on top of the Hadoop platform, right? So Hive was a new component added to the Hadoop platform to support the, sorry, support the SQL query language capability. Then uh, Pig was another uh, component added to the Hadoop platform to support the scripting language capability. Similar to these systems offered PL SQL, uh, Hadoop tried to bring Pig for offering the scripting language capability. And then there was one more uh, system added component added on top of Hadoop was Apache HBase, which was completely new technology, which brought a new era of NoSQL databases. So we will go on to, uh, into that uh, kind of discussion later. But for now, you can think of it like Hive and Pig together. They fulfilled the requirement, all these requirements. So data storage was offered by HDFS of the Hadoop. SQL query was offered by Hive of the Hadoop. A scripting language capability was offered by uh, Pig on the Hadoop platform and programming language interface was offered by uh, MapReduce itself, initially only Java, Java programming language. So Hadoop came up with all this capabilities and components. Hadoop came up as a challenger for data warehouses and it was well adopted by the uh, industry, by the business. Uh, we can summarize Hadoop. So Hive offered you to create database tables, views, run SQL queries on top of the Hadoop systems and other capabilities were offered by like Pig scripting and MapReduce programming in Java. And this system supported high volume, high velocity, and a variety of data. All those uh, three problems that we talked that data warehouses were not able to support. And together, all this, Hadoop also started offering the same capability that data warehouses were offering. So businesses started to started thinking that can we replace our data warehouses with this system and do the data engineering work using Hadoop. 